Hi guys, it's now the year 2020. We finally made it into the new decade. And to start off the decade, I'm gonna be selling my vending machine locations. I have two locations with two combo machines inside two call centers. And I'm gonna show you guys how I am trying to sell them off right now. I'm using sites such as OfferUp, uh, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. And now I'm currently gonna be using YouTube. I still am going to be doing vending machines and I'm still going to be in the business. I have just came up with a scenario, situation more like it. A situation has come up to where I have to move over an hour away from where I currently live right now, which is Orange County, California. I have to go and move to Los Angeles and I'm probably gonna be there for a couple of years now. So in bad traffic time, <laughs> my vending machine locations from where I'm gonna be moving to is going to be about an hour and a half in horrible traffic. If I'm lucky, maybe 50 minutes. But still driving 50 minutes there and 50 minutes back is going to be such a hassle. Even if I do only have to restock once a month because my locations only have to be restocked every three to four weeks. With that being said, I I don't think it's a smart decision for me. As much as I love my vending machine business and I love my location and I love the people that I work with there, even though they're technically not my colleagues or anything or my coworkers, I just sell them stuff. And because of all this, I've decided to sell them and I'm going to rebuild in Los Angeles. So if, if and when I ever do sell these, which I currently do have one posted up right now, which I'll show you guys in a minute, if they ever sell, because <laughs> I'll show you some of the things that have been happening of people telling me they're going to show up or are interested in the machine and then last minute before meeting with them, they completely bail on me and don't show up for our appointments. So we'll see what happens. But it, once I sell it, I'm gonna use that money to go and buy another machine, get another location. I just have to move everything, wait till things die down a little bit, well, more like calm down a little bit, because moving is a bit of a hassle. And moving to Los Angeles isn't a small move, so it's definitely a bit of a life change. But let's go on to offer up right now. So here I have my post and this, these are the pictures that I have included right now. You can see that it's my combo. It is an American made brand. This is a refurbished machine that comes from Mark Batista. He does excellent and amazing work on all of his machines. All the product that is inside the machine at that current time, I will be leaving in there. If I have product in my storage, I will also include that in there, which I will most likely have, which you can all completely have in this post and you know, what I'm selling. Sodas and everything, that everything you see here is what you get, basically. And I wanted to show you guys this post so that you can kind of get some ideas on what I'm specifically saying here in order to sell my machine. So in the description I put, hi, my name is Amy. I have a vending machine location for sale. The sale comes with a refurbished combo machine that has had all new parts added to it. Comes with the snacks and that are already inside and comes with the location. Now keep in mind, I don't pay anything to the location. I don't pay a commission. I don't pay for electricity. Everything that is, um, Everything that is being made from the machines is everything that I get to keep. I don't have to give that to anyone else. I am currently selling it for 2,400. I don't know if that's a good price. I don't know if it's too high. I just did it based off of the fact that the machine is anywhere between 1,500 to 1,800. The product inside is a little over $200. So when I calculated that alone, the 1800 plus the 200, that alone is already 2100. And that's just for the product and the machine. And if you were to deliver, you know, a machine to a location, you usually have to pay your delivery driver 70 to $100. And, you know, I, 
I'd like to try to get money for the location itself, but it's literally under a hundred dollars of what I'm trying to get for the location. The location is located in Garden Grove. Sure, I know you can get cheaper machines than this, and I know not everybody likes the combo effect, but this already comes with the location, comes with the keys. You know my entire history because you've seen it here and so on and so forth. But I want to show you the fun part too of people messaging me so you can see what it's been like dealing with people who are interested in buying my machines. If we go over here, we can see that my post has had 675 views. And I guess like people interested are looking or searching in the search bar that they want to buy a machine or a location. And if we click on here, we can see some of the messages. I'll blur out the names. But for example, we have this person. I did forget to post how much it makes monthly. So literally every single person that has been messaging me has been talking about how much it makes on a weekly or a monthly basis. Now, that's that was my mistake, but I've been answering everybody. The machine that I am selling currently makes 40 to 50 a week. And we have this other person here who has a lot of questions. Uh, first offered 15 cash. I wasn't going to take that seriously. Um, at the moment, I would say that my minimum is 2100 uh, With location, I said yes. You manage the machines, yes. How much does it make? 40 to 50. Um, he's telling me that he's interested in vending but only has 1500 So then I actually say that I'm willing to do a deposit, but then he all of a sudden went from having 1500 to 2000 and then you know kept asking me questions how much does the product cost and how much am I willing to do the monthly payments for and I said I'm willing to do monthly payments as long as you bring me a picture of your ID and at least one bill from your house to confirm your address like a water bill or electric bill something just so I can confirm your address so that if you don't end up paying me, I know where to send the proof of service for your court trial. Because I am a paralegal and that is very fun. We go to this other message. You know, a lot of people will just say that they're, they're interested or have a question, but then never message me back like this scenario. Hi, is it still available? Yes, it is. Um, this person says, they would like to buy it. I said, yes, I still have it. The question again, that it makes 40 to 50 a week. Um, and then I said the lowest was 2000. I accidentally put 2000, I should put 2100. That's my bad. But um, when can we meet? I said Tuesday in the evening. And I said, sure, what about three? Nothing. And the same scenario just keeps happening. You can see all these different messages and absolutely nothing is going nowhere and then we have some people offering me a thousand dollars yeah we got about 20 buyers on offer up and i posted it on facebook marketplace and i posted it on craigslist and um haven't really gotten much motion on craigslist it's mainly just been offer up and a little bit of facebook so i'd say it's like offer up first facebook and then craigslist I supposedly have somebody meeting me Tuesday at 4.30, the 14th of 2020, but I don't know if that's gonna work. So I don't know if other people have different success stories on selling their machines, but this is the way that I'm gonna try to sell my machine. But other than that, um, I also wanted to make a little bit of a special offer here on YouTube for hitting 600 people, for people who are trying to learn, if one of you guys decide you want to buy the vending machine locations, it is in Garden Grove, California. It is a call center. It makes $40 to $50 a week. It does not pay any commission at all to the owner. If one of you guys want to buy it, 
you know, give me your best negotiable offer. And if you do buy it, then I will go every, I'd, I want to say once a week with you. I, I am having some family stuff happen right now, so I don't have exact days, but I will work with you and see when I can go with you to teach you a little bit about the vending. We can go to Sam's Club together. I can teach you about the expiration dates and how to keep track of everything and you know, so on and so forth. Probably like two or three weeks, we can go hang out. You can ask me any questions you want about the machine so I can try to teach you a little bit because I have a feeling that everybody watches this channel is very new to vending and can be really nervous. And a lot of people also think that I'm gonna scam them, like the location is gonna kick me out or something, which is not the case. That's not why I'm selling. I'm just moving very far away from my locations. So I'm hoping that also makes people feel a little more comfortable that I'm willing to go and be there with you for two to three weeks to, you know, so you could see that, hey, you're not gonna get kicked out. Anyways, uh, I hope my video on OfferUp and Facebook and my little description helps anybody trying to sell. Running your own business and starting a business can be very nerve wracking. So I fully understand that selling the location is gonna be a while. And if you are watching this video because you want to see how you can sell your location, just know that it's probably gonna take a couple weeks, maybe even a couple months. Because you have to find the right buyer, you have to find the, a person that's local, you have to find a person who's willing to open up their own business and start their own business, and they're most likely gonna be new. If, you know, mine's not a huge warehouse or anything. If it was a huge warehouse or it was at a school or something, then maybe a, another business would like to come and buy it. But because it is a call center and it's not the biggest in the world, it's most likely going to be just sold to individual people who want to start. And this is cheaper. If you go and buy a business at a warehouse or at a school that's already up and running and successful and, you know, it's bringing in what, like 800 a month? I've seen some crazy videos. Some people bringing in 800, 500 a month. Those are gonna cost more. And, and those are gonna cost more of an investment for you and probably make you even more nerve wracking because you probably don't even know how to fix vending machines or run the business or what products to buy. And, you know, so starting off this slow, it's probably gonna take a while for me to sell it. So I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll try to keep you updated on who buys the machine. I'm even gonna ask if they're okay to be on video so I can show you guys. But I have a feeling this is gonna take at least a month. And um, if you wanna message me about the location, just go ahead and message me on Instagram. I have the link in the description and leave a comment. You can even message me on Facebook if you want, but I am very slow on Facebook. So be patient with me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.